What's going on everyone? I am trying my best to get better at Destiny 2. Specifically, PvP. Even more specifically, Trials of Osiris. If you're like me, and according to Trials Report, about 75% of you are, you have a hard time going flawless in Trials of Osiris. If you watch a lot of Trials content, you'll hear, oh, just hop into okay. Trials and knock out a flawless card real quick. And that is not my usual experience whatsoever. I really enjoy playing the playlist and want to get better at it, but it can be a frustrating experience when you're either solo and can't communicate with your teammates, or you just don't have the skill to really be competitive. I honestly consider myself a fairly average or maybe slightly below average player or skill level. If I have a positive KD, I consider that a successful match around. But when it comes to Trials of Osiris, the overall gaming experience can really vary like week to week, day to day, or even match to match. There was definitely a point in Trials where if you weren't going flawless, like, why bother playing? Which made sense, right? You were playing to get adept weapons, go to the lighthouse. However, I don't go flawless. So why would I keep getting dummy like 0 and 5, back to back to back to back, and not even be getting better at the game mode? Because I'm just getting ran over by the higher skill players. From my perspective, Bungie's actually done a really good job at adding things to Trials to encourage that casual or lower skill player to get into and stay in the Trials playlist. The Two Mercies I think was a great addition, the increase in loot drops is absolutely noticeable and just a fantastic added benefit to playing. But the biggest update that will keep me continuing to play Trials is that separation of the flawless and non-flawless pools. Now with the addition of the non flawless pool, it is a noticeable difference in player skill and overall pace of the rounds, and I can actually learn the game mode, like the different techniques, and really improve my skills to get better at trials. This background gameplay here in the beginning is from later games on the card, where I was in the non flawless pool, and you can definitely tell that difference in the pace of play on the rounds. This video is going to show what it's like to play trials from that casual player perspective. More so, I wanted to show what my personal experience is like playing Trials and really show how many wins until I actually have that flawed card. Spoiler alert, it was five. It was five matches until I was into that bump down into that non flawless pool. I lost two in a row to start the card, which you hate to see. Then I won two in a row, and then I lost that fifth game. And it did take me 11 total matches to just complete a card. It was a Mercy card, flawed obviously. But I was able to enjoy playing and get more Trials loot. So let me know what you think about my Trials gameplay here. And like I said, I'm actually trying to get better. So please share any tips, advice, loadouts, meta weapons, what you think I'm doing good, what you think I'm doing bad, down in the comments below. All of it is greatly appreciated. I'll take all the help I can get. If you're enjoying the video so far, or if you're looking to also improve at Destiny PvP or Trials of Osiris, make sure you subscribe. Let's start the card. And it cuts off an angle, but that guy's going bottom, so I'm gonna go top. Only one enemy is left. One minute left, my friend. I like taking that outside angle, but. Uh, I feel like it's a lot better, like something with a sniper or something like that. Only one ally is left. Silly. Tried to tried to thrust her out of there, but it wasn't work. Revive. He jumped right into some team shots. Heavy round. Is left. It is in 
I usually don't use shotguns. Some recommended switching to a shotgun. Kind of gives you a little more versatility. Um, but... Why would I walk out in the open like that? I was thinking protect the res. That was a dumb play. So game one is a loss. Uh, really wasn't playing well. Uh, was not staying with the team. Was not advocating for my teammates and helping them play better or anything. So uh, really bad KD. So, okay. game one's lost. Yeah, I'd like to reset the card, but I just kind of wanted to see, right, does that make a difference at all? Especially where you have the two forces. Stop that one for the team. Oh man, point six. Not uh, pretty rough. Just kind of unfortunate. We, that actually wasn't too, too bad of like a mismatched uh, team. We just didn't play that well as a team. So, lost been forgiven, right? Because I haven't been flawless yet this season, so. We'll see. Um, that I think that's I out of auto so. rifle range. It's not probably not the best lane in general for auto rifle. Bit of a close range. Nice, got one pick. That's big. One minute left, my friend. So I saw like 90 something from that grenade. We thought it'd be a decent push. Looking back on it now, with only being half health, probably wasn't the best idea. I mean, it didn't turn out that well, obviously. And the radars, here they are. Terrible grenade. Yeah, I've tried to thrust her a hole a couple times. It's just not working. One minute not working out for me. Use this that round. It's a bummer. You are I definitely enjoy this game mode, but I would like to play it more. I had to slide and <laughs> just crouched. I blame myself on that. That's silly. Shouldn't have also. I know you with like two bows and a scout rifle and everything. It shouldn't be challenging these long air lanes. Is left. It is in their hands. He hits all his and I miss like two bursts, so that's great. Only one and this is good carry this round. You are back in the fight. This whole match, I guess. Yes, yeah, this range here is really good for the auto rifle. Taking a lot of Yeah, wrap head head seeker. Here. One minute left, my friend. We can't really escape anywhere, but. Messenger. More near super or anything. Where's my intellect even at? Yeah, 48, yeah. Much it's the one downside to my build. Well, <laughs> the one, I say, like, there's th it's the only Achilles heel, but. One 
One minute left, my friend. Your ally is back in the fight. Should have put a grenade there to protect the res and reposition instead of focusing on just getting the kill. I mean, I'm playing terribly. Um, trying to still figure out how to play Trials of Osiris, but that wasn't a completely mismatched game. Final loss has been forgiven. Still no wins on the card yet. So again, we'll see what happens. Maybe we go on a crazy run um, of the game. Gives us some, some really good RNG. So starting the card, back-to-back -back losses, not what you were hoping for, but I wanted to see what it was like, hey, how many games until I was kicked down from the flawless pool. And actually, these games really haven't been that bad. It's really rough, you know, as a lower skill player or someone that's not great at trials when they come in and just get absolutely steamrolled, you know, going 0-5 every single match, you know, for two hours. But these actually ha really haven't been anything that's a ma matchmaking issue. It's more on me in just kind of doing stupid things or peeking stupid corners or something that's a little bit due to inexperience. You're not thinking, nope, don't do ABC repositions. You can do, you know, XYZ. I didn't realize I was weak before I was challenging this. Your enemy is down. Wow. I'm useless. So this match is a fairly good example of why people are saying, oh, solo queuing is a little bit easier to be more successful in trials. Because uh, if you have left, two decent players, you can either help to make a really good team, or you can luck out like me and get carried through this entire match. Three. Definitely getting carried through here, though. Pretty easy way to tell that, too, is, you know, an 8 or a 9 and a 9 and a uh, 10 Guardian rank as well. So, like, what that means they had to have done to get those ranks. Only oh, oh, one seven. Is left. Two picks right there, nice. One minute left, my friend. But this the match is yours. Celebrate! I will there, join you. Good, good players on them. Wow, I got one. Yeah, I absolutely carried. Got carried. So they've been pretty even so far up until this one. Um, okay, since they're both going that way, I'm going to mix it up and just go this way. That kill. Revived. You are back in the fight. Only one enemy is left. Nice. Yeah, I figured I mean, those guys, I wasn't helping those guys out really anything, so if I could flank and try to get at least, you know, a couple picks or mix it up a little bit, there's a thought process thrilled. behind that, but... Only one enemy is left. Opponent revived. One minute left, my friend. Only one enemy is left. I think I want my one, otherwise it would have felt real, real useless in this. You are leading.
enemy is last. One minute left, my friend. Down the wall. Okay, definitely got carried again. Um, we're lucking out with some of these these teammates and everything, but uh, definitely played a better round. That round two, so positive, much better KD. Yeah, still at the bottom of the team, but hey, you know, it's contributing. So still within the fall pool, so I mean, those last two games too might have been real, real luck. Opponents. One minute left, my friend. Only one enemy game. is left. Guardian, it is you alone. Oh, I thought I saw him this flash over there to the left, but next. I knew a guy was there. Um, I had no idea. I mean, what am I in the middle of nowhere? So, yeah, that's kind of dumb plan on my part. Only one ally is left. Man. Is left. And an 0-5 to really put a put an exclamation mark on this card. Sometimes you get ran over, but that's honestly how like it usually is. So this card, all things considered, this is our only 0-5 game. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I've gotten you know some decent loot so far. So after five games, no longer in a flawless pool. So five games with only two wins. So not very good, you know ratio there. However, now that I'm no longer in the flawless pool, I wonder how much longer it'll take me to get these five other wins to at least complete the card. So this gameplay is what, my sixth game playing, and you can really tell, or at least I really noticed a difference between playing five games in the flawless pool and then moving down into that non-flawless pool. One minute left, my friend. Only one enemy is left. Only one ally nice is left. Hmm. Okay, round tied. I'll take it. It's high. One minute left, my friend. Opponent revived. Only one ally is left. I remap my, my melee yeah. buttons and uh, it's messed me up now. Only one enemy is left. Okay. Look back in the fight. One minute left, my friend. Only one okay. ally is left. Only one enemy is left. One minute left, my friend. Only one enemy 
enemy is left. Opponent revive. Only one enemy is left. One minute left, my friend. Who win? I need to stay with these guys and just kind of support them. Only one enemy is left. One minute left, my friend. Wow, so I'm playing half decent this round. Um, way more chunk of my super energy. That's insane. All right. All right. I'm still on the bottom of the team too, but I dealt the most damage. Um, so definitely, you can tell the difference. You can absolutely tell the difference on uh, just say like the pace of play, like how. You know, I'm I'm a little bit more comfortable peeking peeking some corners and stuff like that. Um, so you can definitely tell the difference between the two pools. Only one enemy is left. If you've made it this far, thank you very much. How do I play? What do you think? Trials is not an easy game mode. Sometimes it's a huge ego boost. Sometimes you really get put in your place. Uh, hopefully this showed you that you don't have to be amazing just to hop into trials. It's not only for players that go 5-0 every time. Get in there and mix it up with the best of them. If you want to come along on this improvement journey of mine, make sure you subscribe. Keep improving, keep getting better, and I'll keep trying my best.